Hello Team Foster Family Fun. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today's video is going to be a compilation of several different meals showing you guys how I make quick, easy, and delicious meals for my family in my air fryer on a regular basis. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future foster family fun. Now let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. Today I am cooking chicken drumsticks in my air fryer for dinner. Before I get started with cooking the chicken, I always use one of these paper liners in my air fryer. It just makes for easy cleanup when cooking chicken and I will leave a link to these down in the description box below. And this is just quick, easy, and simple. These are chicken drumsticks. They've already been washed. They have been patted down dry because I like for them to pretty much be as dry as they possibly can when I put them in the air fryer and I just line them up. I do not pre-season them before I put them in the air fryer. When I'm cooking, this is a Thursday evening for us. When I'm cooking, I am moving quickly. So, and I'm trying to make as less mess as possible. So pre-seasoning in a different bowl and all of that, I don't do any of that. I season it right in the air fryer. So I am going to do a little bit of onion powder, just a light sprinkle, some garlic powder, a light sprinkle of that, pepper, and pink Himalayan salt. A good sprinkle of that onto the chicken. And then for the drumsticks that I'm making today, I'm going to put a little bit of breadcrumbs. I'm gonna sprinkle that on top because it gives it a little bit of a crunch that I like. It's not needed. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I don't flour up my chicken or do any of that extra stuff when I'm using the air fryer because I feel like the air fryer the whole purpose of it for us in our house is to make our food a little bit easier and a little bit healthier and you get the crisp without it and then of course you guys have seen me use this before my spray bottle that has avocado oil in it so I do some squirts of that over the chicken and there you go. It's all ready to go. And I will just put it into the air fryer. And you press the power button. And of course the air fryer has the pictures up here of what everything is. I am going to do chicken. However, I like mine to be crispy. So I am going to do my chicken at 370 and I'm going to do it for eight minutes and after these eight minutes I'm going to flip it season the other side and then continue to cook it the buzzer is going off that means the time is up and it's time for me to flip the chicken and it looks very crispy. This is just the way I like for it to look. And then all I do is just flip everything over and then I will season the other side the same way I season this side and then back into the air fryer. 
I'm gonna set then reset the timer for 380. I think before I did, I think I stopped at 370, but I do like to keep it on 380. And then I'm going to do this side for 10 more minutes. All right, guys, the timer is going off, which means that the chicken drumsticks are completely cooked. And let's see what it looks like here. Let me zoom y'all in. Oh, it looks good and crispy. This is just how we enjoy our chicken here at the house. And it was cooked in the air fryer. These chicken drumsticks are a little bit thicker than probably your normal drumstick. So it took about 20 minutes. Look how crispy that skin is. At 380 degrees in the air fryer for 20 minutes. And they're all done. This morning I'm going to show you guys how I make a quick and easy breakfast in my air fryer. I have some frozen biscuits and frozen turkey sausage. And I'm going to put just put two of the biscuits right in the air fryer. And I'm going to put the sausages, the frozen sausage patties right in the air fryer as well. Now I am going to squirt a little bit of butter on the top and the bottom of the biscuits and that's it and I am just going to put it right there in the air fryer and the air fryer has a bake setting so I'm going to use that setting and I am going to put it on 10 minutes so this breakfast will only take 10 minutes to make. Now you can do this with refrigerated biscuits or if you are making some homemade biscuits from scratch instead of putting them in the oven, you can put those in your air fryer as well and use the bake setting which is 310 degrees for 10 minutes. It depends on how thick the biscuits are these frozen biscuits, I do this all the time. 10 minutes is all that it needs and they're delicious. They're cooked all the way through. The timer is going off. That means the 10 minutes are up. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, you guys, there you have it. Perfectly cooked. And look, they're all baked up nicely. The sausage is cooked all the way through. The biscuits are browned. Perfectly cooked biscuits from frozen in the air fryer. And it only took 10 minutes. So I am just going to slice this biscuit in half. Ooh, it's still very, very hot and place one of the sausage patties on top of the biscuit and then while this was cooking in the air fryer I fried up an egg with a slice of cheese I'm gonna place that on top And there you have it, you guys, a delicious, hot, right out of the air fryer, sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. It only took 10 minutes, and the biscuits were frozen, and the sausage was frozen, and I just threw them right into the air fryer frozen. Now, if you 
are not keen on using packaged products, you can always pre-make your biscuits from scratch and pre-make your sausage from scratch and freeze a batch of it and just pull it out individually as you need it for breakfast. And this beats going to any fast food restaurant and having to wait in line or having to go back to the fast food restaurant after you already left because they got your order wrong. This is done right here in the house. A quick and easy, hot, delicious, fresh breakfast made in the air fryer. This evening for dinner, we are having pork chops. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay the pork chops right into the air fryer. I season it right in the air fryer. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and garlic powder and onion powder. Some pepper. Just a little bit of cayenne. And sprinkle all of them with some seasoned breadcrumbs on top just to give it that little bit of extra crunch. After I finish seasoning them, I use my spray bottle with avocado oil and put a few squirts on each pork chop and then pop them right into the air fryer. Very simple and easy. Then, as you see, the air fryer has all the buttons at the top. I'll put it right here and I'm going to put mine at 370 for 10 minutes because these pork chops are a little bit thick and then after 10 minutes I'm going to flip them, season the other side the same way and then reset the timer again. The timer is going off, that means the pork chops are ready. Let's see what they look like. Oh, there you have it. They look very delicious and yummy. They're brown all throughout, crispy edges, just the way we like it. Tonight we are having chicken thighs cooked in the air fryer. And the chicken thighs are going to be very similar to the exact same way that I made the chicken drumsticks. So of course, like I showed you before, I like to use these paper liners in my air fryer. It just helps with the cleanup for me it does very well. I'm going to place the chicken thighs skin side down into the air fryer and they've already been washed and pat down dry and as you guys can see they're still just a little bit frozen just a little bit but that's okay they're gonna cook up just beautifully Now that I have the chicken thighs in the air fryer skin side down, I'm just going to go ahead and do the seasoning. And like I showed you guys before, I don't season in a different pan or in a different bowl. This is just my quick, easy, I got to get dinner on the table weekday cooking routine. So I'm going to do put some 
I'm going to put some pink Himalayan salt on here. Onion powder and garlic powder. Some pepper. And a little bit of Slap Your Mama seasoning. And then lastly, I'm going to sprinkle some seasoned breadcrumbs on top. Just a little bit on the top of the chicken thighs. And then a few squirts of avocado oil. And there you have it. It's all ready to go inside the air fryer. And like I showed you guys before, you know the air fryer has the pictures at the top of what you're putting it on. So I am doing chicken thighs and it's set for 360, but I'm going to turn mine up to 380. And then I am going to put this on for 15 minutes because these chicken thighs are a little bit larger and just a little teeny bit frozen. So they're going to need more time. But even if they weren't frozen, I still would put it at 380 because I like my chicken to be crispy. That is the time going off. The 15 minutes are up. It's time to pull the chicken thighs out and flip them over to finish cooking. Let's see what they look like. All right, very crispy, nice and crispy. This is exactly how I like my chicken thighs to look. I like to, the skin to be crispy, and I also like the underside of the thighs to be a little bit crispy as well. And that is the main reason why I use the air fryer, is because it's quick, it's easy, and it cooks my food just the way I like it. Okay, so we flip the chicken thighs over and I'm going to use the same seasoning that I used on the other side. And back in it goes. Back to the chicken, 380 is what I prefer. And for 15 minutes, just because these chicken thighs are a little bit bigger, and I like to make sure that my chicken is cooked all the way through. And the air fryer, it really does hold in the moisture as well, so I don't have to worry about these being dried out. 15 minutes are up. That means the chicken is done. Let's see how it looks. Oh yes, it is ready, completely ready. Looks yummy and delicious. And there you have it guys. Crispy chicken thighs made in the air fryer. I hope you enjoyed our video of quick and easy air fryer meals. And for those of you out there who do have air fryers, comment below on some of your favorite air fryer meals that you like to cook or your go-to weekday meals that you cook for your family. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future Foster Family Fun videos. Thanks for watching.